knobs, there are more ways than ever for drivers to adjust the car and its infotainment systems. Optional gesture control allows commanding infotainment and telephone functions by pointing with one or two fingers or by swiping with an appropriate hand motion near the center console. We're happy for the redundancy, if only because it may mean fewer fingerprints on the center stack controls, which are rendered in piano black. At least some of the buttons and knobs are matte finished, although the shiny black stuff is also featured on the row of programmable memory keys that have become a staple in BMWs. Keep those microfiber wipes handy. Other tech bobbles include wireless integration of Apple CarPlay and a remote function for the surround view cameras that allows owners to check the surroundings of their car from their mobile phones. View photos. As we inch toward our destination in Sonoma, flooded streets from the previous days of rain prompted lengthy detours through the valley. This afforded us a keen appreciation for the hours-long comfort of the 20-way power-adjustable front seats, which had impressed us earlier with their dynamic bolsters that gently inflate as G's rise in tight corners while otherwise offering occupants cloud-like comfort. The outboard rear seats are nearly as nice, with well-executed ergonomic contouring and decent legroom. We also relished the rich fidelity of the 1400-watt, 16-speaker Bowers and Wilkins audio stereo, but we're not sure the $4,200 system is notably better than the 600-watt, 12-speaker Harman slash Cardin setup that costs only $875. And one last delight presented itself once the sun descended over the hills to the west, the interior ambient lighting at night is gorgeous although some may find the extra light distracting. The 530i should hit dealerships this month. Prices start at $52,195 for rear drive models and $54,495 with all-wheel drive, each a grand above last year's versions. The increases seem justified given the improvements and additional technology bestowed upon the new 5 Series. The 530i anchors the bottom of the lineup and will be joined by the new 530e i performance plug-in hybrid this spring. BMW promises that the 530e will achieve parity in most respects with the 530i, except fuel economy, the 530e is expected to offer MPGE ratings in the high 60s, versus the 24-34 MPG city-highway ratings for the 530i but we'll judge the hybrid's merits when the time comes. Meanwhile, we can say the new 530i marks a step forward.